All right, welcome back, everybody. Time now for some great day food. If you need some dinner inspiration, we have a perfect idea that the whole family's going to love. Yes, you don't need to order out and get delivery because Chef Plum is here showing us how to make an easy two-ingredient weeknight flatbread. Super easy, two ingredients. This is my favorite new dough. I'm using it for everything from dumplings to donuts to flatbread. I did this for a client of mine where I made this flatbread. I put all this olive tapenade out and hummus and, and different steamed vegetables. Made a whole like setup and they had a Mediterranean flatbread dinner. That's wonderful. They can make their own stuff and kind of make their own. It's beautiful, right? I, right. Just, I, I need to, to let you both know that last night I made dinner. Oh. Well, and it wasn't Captain Crunch. It, I opened a jar of sauce. Okay. Okay. I boiled some pasta. <gasps> I put some, uh, I, I uh, ground up some turkey. I put the turkey in the pasta sauce, and then I had pasta with turkey sauce. There you go. Got Amy, everybody. There you go, Got everybody. He you. did it. All right, Thank so you. if you can do that, you can do this. So the, Super easy. Let's I go. I remember you showing me, but what? what Very similar. So you we're need take, self rising flour? Yeah, this is self rising flour. So it's flour that already has the uh, chemicals that make it rise and you know rise up. Okay. Right? Like so we're gonna yeast add, or whatever? Yes, well, not yeast. It's going to be a chemical leavener. A natural leavener would be yeast. It does powder everywhere, sorry. Okay. We're going to use, chemical sounds bad. It does sound bad. But it's not bad. It's not bad? It's no, okay. No, no. <laughs> so we add a little bit of that right there. I got one cup of that. And then I'm going to add one cup. We don't have to measure it unless you really want to. About one cup of this whole milk yogurt, okay? Wait, so it's, a, it's an equal ratio? Yep, one to one. One to one. So we're just going to start kind of spinning that around there. Carrie, do you want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Because you guys know that whenever I work with flour, I wear all black constantly. Norwich, Vermont. This yes, is made in. yes, yes, which is where all mm -hmm. self-rising flour comes from. We love the we love the uh, King Flour Company. Great company, actually. It's a cool place to go to. The bakery oh, it's, in there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely. Awesome. It's a lot of fun. So what's happening is Kara mixes this up. You can see it kind of starts to come together into a little shaggy mass here, which is what we're looking for. A little bit of a shaggy mass. You can add some salt. You can add some spices to it if you want. But really, all you got to do is just kind of mix it up, right? Mm -hmm. Get it nice and mixed, beautiful. I'm just going all slowly so it doesn't end up everywhere. But yeah, yes, you know. It's, it's, it's going, it's mixing. You could also get in there with your hands if you want. Okay. So while she finishes mixing that up, I've got a pan here getting nice and warm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a pinch of cooking spray to it. Okay. Right? Or, because we're going to use a little pesto, a little pesto later, you can use some oil from the pesto as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Right? okay. So you can just pour a little bit of that in there. I'm not going to try. I'll just do a little of this. Here we go. Just a little bit in there. You can use olive oil as well, whatever. The spray kind of gives a nice coating on there, and we okay. don't want a whole lot of it, right? Okay. How's it coming? Is it coming I, together nicely? I think so. It's it's a little, um, hang on, it's coming, right? Okay. okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's coming. Looks good. So here's what we're going to do. So let's put a little bit of flour on your board here. Okay. So we'll put this aside. Put a little flour right here. That keeps it from sticking? Yes, sir. That's the idea. Keep it from sticking. What about the fact it's on my hands? Anything about that? That's not going to hurt you. Okay. Just you don't do anything <laughs> later, are you? No, no, she's just got to do the news. Yeah, yeah, it's so, fine. You know. Oh, but anyway, are you supposed so, to like spread your hands or no? So no. Well, you could put a little flour in your hands. We'll take a little of this. I'm just going to work this into this dough right here, into yeah. this flour, right? And it starts to take on a little bit more flour, as you can see. Okay. Which is okay, right? You want it to take on more flour and be a little bit more like a dough as opposed to a, you know, a shaggy mass. Okay. So we're going to work that out, get it nice and flattened out. So you don't need a rolling pin. No, nah, you could it. rolling pin it if you want. I brought a small one here. We can do that if we want. But you don't have to. I use my hands. It's just as easy. No, that's good because, I mean, sometimes, you know, if, if you're not a baker, you might not right. have all this stuff. But you could just use your fingers. Right. And so once we get to this level here, you can see it's kind of a nice, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're making homemade things here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. We're going to put it right in here. And I kind of press it down in the pan a little bit. Okay. And this cooks in no time flat. What we want to have happen here is we want it to blister on the outside, right? So we're going to flip it once, let it get nice and hot and blistery in here, and that's going to cook the inside of the dough as well. Okay. So here we go, almost there. So you do want this to not be too thick when you put it in. Yeah, you kind of want it to be, I think of like a, a little bit thicker, or like two or three tortillas is what I, I, I okay. picture it in my brain. Okay. okay. All right, so this is looking good, almost there. Let it get nice and hot. Sometimes this burn takes a little bit longer. But we're getting there. Okay. That's awesome. We'll leave her a double check here. Uh, a little bit longer. Almost there. But the fun part about this is, is once you get these cooked off, you can cook off several of them at once. You know, you cook off five, six of them at a time, and then set up a whole platter of stuff on the table. That's good Like idea. I said, steamed vegetables, hummus, uh, tapenades, things like that you can top it with. So yeah. it makes a big difference. And you it's kind of fun for the kids if they want to help to make something that's only two ingredients. Absolutely. And for, you know, my idea here was to put a little pesto on it and call it done. Super easy. There we go. Getting there. You can see it's starting to blister up on the bottom a little bit there. That's really, it's, is it like a non bread? Is it caramel? Very similar. Okay. Very, very similar. Non breads are cooked in a stone oven. They have this big, it looks like a jet engine inside of a stone, like oh, column. Okay. And they slap them on the sides of it, and that's how it cooks on the outside. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've seen stuff on um, Instagram and whatnot saying like uh, two ingredient non, but so it's like the same thing. Very, very similar. So, self rising flour, you can get that 
Anywhere? Any grocery store has this. You can use a low-fat yogurt if you want. I like the higher fat because it adds a little extra flavor to it. Okay. And, and just plain, right? That's it, just plain. Yeah, don't want vanilla in there, you know. Right. Unless I maybe want to make a vanilla donut, I guess I could do it that way, right? Okay. So would this be the same one to one ratio you would use for those donuts that's you showed it. us? Uh, that's it, yep. One okay, to one. only one to then one. you're going to fry them in some oil and make them in little in some balls. Oil. That's right. Or in your air fryer works great, too. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's, that's and then you roll them in the sugar and the cinnamon. Because we did that in a different recipe of the week. See if we can flip it without. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh that's beautiful. That. Can you see that kind of we're getting yeah. those, those char marks on there? Yes, that's gorgeous. That's what we want. And then once this is done, I'll show you what I'd like to do here just so we can wrap this up. Because I know this is taking a little bit longer than we're supposed to that's here. That's okay. No, we're good. But we'll take like this, right? I'm going to put this to the side. And we get those char marks. That's that blistering on the outside that you want. What that does is that's the moisture evaporating out of it. And when it evaporates, it helps it to rise up a little bit. Okay. Right? So we'll just take this. We'll put it here. And now we can do whatever we want. And you've got we this uh, just pesto. A basil pesto here. Just spread that on I there. I know you have. I still use your chimichurri recipe, which is amazing. Amazing, right? You could use that chimichurri sure. I mean, anything. There's no right or wrong here, but check that out. Make Look a at that. pizza, make whatever. That's beautiful. Look at that. Whatever you want to put on there, unbelievable, delicious, but maybe we should wash our hands before we eat well, next time. Yeah. Not okay. now, not now, but you know. There's no egg, she's good. Or maybe before the news. Have a little bit. Should I have a little bit? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm totally good. Might want to wash Don't your worry, hands before the news, I, though, right? Yeah, I'm going to wash my hands before we do that. Um, <laughs> so much fun, but now I'm I'm gotta gonna write go, this down. I'm going to go find the um, real sink in the back. <laughs> <laughs> not the fake one behind us. Mm. Super easy, very simple, right? Delicious, yeah, right? You could use it for your own personal pizzas, too. And now when you make that pasta that you made with that ground turkey and the open jar of sauce and that, now you can make a little bread to go with it. All right, thank you, Chef Plum. We appreciate it.